In this video, I will give a demo of the muscle attachment of ribs. So first of all, let's start with typical rib. So the mu muscle attachment of typical rib. In the posterior end, the anterior margin of the head uh, has attachment with radiate ligament or triradiate ligament. Then between the two facet, there is a crest which articulates with the intervertebral disc has attachment with intra-articular ligament. Then the peripheral border of the or peripheral margin of the head has attachment with capsular ligament. Then the, post, then the neck area, posterior surface of the neck has attachment with costo transverse ligament. The crest of the neck or the cristacoli has attachment with the superior costo transverse ligament. And in the anterior surface, there is a faint ridge, faint transverse ridge. This ridge attaches with posterior intercostal membrane, posterior intercostal membrane. And the lower part of the ridge attaches with the costal pleura. Now the inferior border of the neck attaches with the internal intercostal membrane. So that's all. Then come to the tubercle. So the non-articular part of the tubercle, it has an attachment with lateral costo transverse ligament. Then this area between the tubercle and the posterior angle. This area has two muscle attachment. They are sacrospinalis and levator costi. Sacrospinalis and levator costi. Then in the posterior angle, on the posterior angle, there is a ridge and on the ridge there is a muscle attachment called sacrospinalis and there is also a fascia called thoracolumbar fascia. Now come to the anterior angle. So in the anterior angle there is a oblique ridge we can feel it. So behind the oblique ridge there is a attachment of serratal anterior muscle which has eight digits, these digits from the first rib to the eighth rib and here is also a muscle called latissim, laterimus dorsi. So this has two, uh, two digits like for on the ninth and tenth ribs and then in front of the oblique ridge there is a muscle called external oblique muscle. Okay, then come to the inner surface. The inner surface there is a coastal groove and here is some attachment or origin of some muscles. So now know about the now say about the intercoastal muscles. In the lower margin of the shaft there is the origin of external intercoastal muscle and this external intercoastal muscle inserts at the superior border at the outer lip like outer lip of the superior border of the uh, rib below and then in the floor of the coastal groove there is a origin of internal intercoastal muscle and this internal intercoastal muscle insert at the inner lip of the superior border of the below rib and then in the on the border of the coastal groove there is a muscle called intercostal intimus this is the origin point of this muscle and this intercostal intimus insert at the inner lip of the superior border of the rib below so these were the muscle attachment of this of any of the typical rib